It's the Don't Make It Weird Halloween Special. With your hosts, Daniel and Tina Soros. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? This is episode 28 of the Don't Make It Weird podcast, and I gotta be honest, 28 shows getting a little old to be going to college Halloween parties, getting kind of pathetic. But how are you supposed to make new friends at this age? Go to the bar alone in a Jar Jar Binks costume and try to talk to people? Doesn't work, trust me. Speaking of Halloween, this is our spooktacular Halloween special, so buckle in and prepare to be scared. I am your spine-chilling co-host, Daniel Quigley, and I am joined, as always, by the super spooky, smart survivalist, and sensation of small herself, Dina Soros. How are you today, Dina? Hi. Oh my gosh. Let me just say, I just shaved my legs. So smooth right now. (laughs) Same. Same. Yeah. Your hair's looking beautiful today, as usual. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I just want to remind everyone that I'm very small today and I did not approve of this episode. This is our Halloween episode. So uh, <laughs> you're going to be uh, kind of shitting yourself the whole time, aren't you? Oh, my God. Tim! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Tim! Oh, it looks like you got a new shirt for the occasion. What is that? What's oh, your shirt say? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, just want everyone to know what kind of energy I'm working with today. Big dick, big dick energy, everybody. Big dick energy. That's incredible. Big D. Big D. Like big D. Big D. Big D. So we can't go on without bringing in the last member of this trio of hitchhiking ghosts. Audience. <sighs> Audience, he put a spell on you. And now you're gone. His whammy fell on you, and it was strong, so strong, so strong. Your wretched little lives have all been cursed. Because of all this producer's working, he's the worst. He put a spell on you, and now you're his. Producer Sean, everybody. Hi, Sean. Original as always, Daniel. How's it going, buddy? It's going. I'm here. I'm alive. Good, good. Well, man, I got to tell you guys, we've got a great show. It's going to be amazing. It's our Halloween special. It's going to be incredible. Are you guys excited? Are you scared? Yes, yes. Dina, are you scared? Are Are you feeling? Are you feeling a little scared, Dina? I mean, listen, I've had like three wines so far, so. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Like, let's, let's just bring it on. All right. We're, we're off to a good start then. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about last week, because last week we had an incredible guest, the author of the To Be Yours series, Ray Kennedy. Dina, what was your favorite part of that episode? Well, um... You know, I just love Ray, and she's just so funny, like, with, with everything she does, and, and honestly, like, mm-hmm. all the different names that she has for, for like, um, pureness, I, I, I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, that must have been a little awkward for you, huh? <sighs> Listen, I can say the word, guys, it's just not my thing. You know, I have to say, the best part was all of the euphemisms that we talked about during the interview segment. What was it? Velvet, velvet wrapped steel. That was the best one. That was the best one. What do you think? Producer Sean, what do you think about that one? I'm going to be honest right now. I'm going to break character because when am I supposed to talk about the shit we fucked up? And I don't have that prepared. It's not in the rundown. I, I took it out <laughs> we're on not purpose. Gonna talk about that? Nope. Oh, so we're not going to talk about the shit we fucked up. We're not going to talk about how I mean, we can, if you have stuff prepared, I didn't prepare anything. Yeah. But how do you usually segue to that? Um, so I mean, I can, after the I last... can give you a segue. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, go ahead. What, so, what, what was the question? I asked you what you thought about the euphemisms that we talked about during the oh. interview segment. Uh, what did you think, Sean? Give me a line. <laughs> I said my favorite one. Um, In Daniel's and... perspective, I said Ugh. my favorite one was velvet wrapped right, steel. But what was actual Sean's favorite line? 
Oh my god, I'm not writing your your no, dialogue. No, give me for something you. to say. <laughs> Cuz he already took mine. That's all that I can remember. <clears throat> I, I I got nothing for you. Okay, well, <clears throat> just uh, usual, what, what I would normally part, say as was As usual, my favorite part was watching Daniel fuck up and be awkward as hell with the romance writer on the show. Speaking of which, producer Sean, did we have any fuck ups last week? Oh, well, speaking of the fuck ups, uh, Daniel didn't know how to pronounce the main character's name in the book. Uh, Hallie. Spoiler. Really? Uh, Daniel, how can you do you know that? What? Do you read the books or not? I, uh, you know, I, I no, learned it. No, he doesn't. He listens page. to them. I, uh, well, that's, I just said it how Siri said it, okay? Don't blame me. Blame Siri. Siri <sighs> reads wh- to me. Maybe this if you actually why, read uh, it, Daniel. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You're not wrong. You're not wrong on that one. Now she'll never come back on the show. I mean, you know, when you run a show with me, you you run the risk of uh, burning bridges. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just it's just part of the deal. Tired of dealing with your fuck ups, Daniel. Speaking of which for 25 years. Do we have any more producer, Sean? Oh, wait. No, I don't have any more fuck-ups. I'm going to go on to our voicemail. <laughs> All right. Voicemail. Producer Sean, do we have any voicemails this week? Voicemail. 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 I'm just... Uh, we're just going to have to have producer Sean record you doing that theme song, Dina, for our voicemail segment. That that sounded weird for some reason. That didn't sound like the normal one. <sighs> it's a sick raptor. Uh-oh. Oh my god, what the hell? Dina, relax. Relax. This must have been a butt dial or something, right? Must have been. Producer Sean, is this is this a real voicemail, producer Sean? This is a real voicemail. I don't like it. Oh, come on. I'm behind you. Oh, shit. Just for you, Dina. Just for you. Yeah, I hate it. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> I'm small. <laughs> wow. That was really... Ooh. Mr. Sean, is, is, is there another voicemail? There is. Do you want to play a game? Perhaps a game of hypotheticals in which two people have to determine which uh, supernatural entity would win a fight. I imagine some of you might be better than others. I'm looking at you, Dinosaurus. Daniel, what is happening? You keep, you keep losing these. I watch often and I think... What do I have to put Daniel through so he's better at these games? And then I, I, I thought, you know, I'll trap him. I'll trap him with a jersey. See, what I'll do is I'll have him celebrate a birthday. A very special birthday. Oh, no. I'll know that I'll have a friend who will want to order a jersey for him. But Did you guys curse is me? actually a trap. And once he puts it on, you will not be able to take it off. That's right, Daniel. Look down. Recognize what you're wearing. I mean, maybe depending on when you're listening to this. Okay, I may have not... I, I, I don't think I thought this game through very well. They know this hypothetical situation is not working out as I imagined. It seems that you have bested me, unlike the way you failed to best Dinosaurus at every turn. Hey. <sighs> well, it's true. It's true. you win this round, don't make a weird podcast, but I will be back to play another game. I, uh, don't Happy see Halloween. Any, don't see any faults here. Don't, don't see any Sir, faults. Sir, whoever you are, I take issue with that message, sir. I win two or three games every 20 episodes. Okay? Okay. Okay. No, no, no. This is, this is bullying, and I will not stand for it. This is bullying. Not everyone is <sighs> a bully, Daniel. Just get good. Dina? <clears throat> I mean, okay. God. Children, you- children, children. That's enough. Do we have any more voicemails? I don't have control of it. (laughs) (laughs) 
Producer Sean, do we have any more voicemail messages? No, 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 we don't. All right. Oh, all right. Time to move on to our game segment for today, where well, we'll be playing. Of games. Oh, oh, what, Daniel? You're talking about games, right? Is this where I get to win again? No, 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 no. Hold Daniel, on, hold you on. You literally hold on. never win. What? Hold on, hold on. Allegedly. That's not Allegedly. that's not what we're doing next. Isn't this like when we do uh, the I game segment? So. Like the read, where we do the reading. What? Uh, what? Yeah, what we're doing our read next. Yeah, it, our, our, isn't this where we do the read? Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 28 episodes, Dina. Hold on. Hold on. She's right. What? She's right. Dina, oh. I heard that you have a little story time to tease for oh, us. Oh, I forgot about story time. Uh, yeah, so um, actually... There was the time that I thought I saw a werewolf. Ooh. Oh my god. <sighs> that could be a are really you, good one. Are you are are you gonna do all these like sound no spoilers, effects the Dina. whole time? No Is this <sighs> I yes. hope so. Yes. I hope so. Absolutely. It's Halloween, Dina. Uh, gotta be spooky. Suck it up, Dina. Yeah, now I just all got right. wine on myself. I just Hold Did on, you just spill again? Hold on. Hold <laughs> oh, on. God. now it, we've Dina. arrived. Dina has spilled something. Uh, hold on. Every hold episode, on. it's got. It's always got to be something. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. it's fine. It's fine. It's are good. you going to be okay for the game segment, Dina? <sighs> what game are we doing, producer Sean? Today, what game are we playing? Up next, we're going to be playing word association, Dina. Your favorite, yeah! except it's going to be Spooky Edition. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't but, know if that's going to be her favorite. But first... Uh, so, before we get started, um, I kind of... I had a dream, and Jess was in this episode, and, like, we were doing, like, all this crazy stuff, and, you know, I, I know she didn't probably have time to come on, but, I, you know, kind of... <laughs> Oh my god! Did... You guys Whose music that? is that? Is that? Whose music is that? Oh my god! Is this re- is this real? Jess! And Jess the, the mouse is, is here! Ready? Yes! Jess the mouse is here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are special. you serious right now? Hold on! Hold on! Producer Sean! Wait, you know what? No, hold on! Jess! How long ago did Producer Sean ask you about this? Like, like 24 hours ago. <laughs> I did very contact little her notice. after... After your dream. Listen! Yeah. All I care about is just the mess is here and we get to party with her for this whole episode and I can't believe it. It's going to be amazing. I'm so confused. How are you feeling about it, Dina? I don't even know oh what to gosh. call you guys. I love <laughs> Jess. This is just going to be the best. Jess. Oh my God. Jess, Jess the best. tell the people at home, what are you wearing? Okay, you so wearing? I want it to be something writerly. And you know how people are like team adverb, whatever. So I'm yeah. pro log. Yeah, yeah. Um, Pro Pro log. If people can see me, I'm a log. She's she's literally wearing a log for the folks at home. And to make this with very little time. Someone only gave me. You made that. Yeah, I made this. Um, And then, so I have a sign here for my protesting: uh, "Live, laugh, log," and um, (laughs) "Make log not war." So make log not war. I had to be political, you know. Amazing. That's so awesome. awesome. We often get political I just love on the Jess. show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love Jess. I, I'm definitely pro log, epilogue, any log. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, damn it, Dina. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put my producer Sean glasses back yep. on for this because we, we are going to play the word here. association yep. game. Spooky edition, specifically requested by Just the Mess, by the way. She wanted to play this game with Dina and Daniel. I did, yes. Oh, this is all going to so, end up being Harry Potter references. <laughs> there might be a couple. <laughs> um, all of the words in this game are spooky Halloween related words. Um, I'm fucking. I ready. will give a word to one of you, and then the next person reacts, and then the next person reacts to that person. So. We'll start with Dina. Actually, Dina, not producer Sean. Okay. <laughs> we'll use real names for the game segment to not confuse anybody. I'll start with Dina, then it'll go to Daniel, then it'll go to Jess in that order. 
So each new word I'll give to the next person in the line, and then you just keep it going in a circle. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, so we're basically riffing off. So, uh, sorry, go order one more time. You're always going to riff off the same person. So if I give a word to Dina, yeah, Daniel's going to react to that, and, and then Jess, Jess is going to react to Daniel. Okay. Yeah. If I give Daniel a word, Jess is going to react to it, and then Dina's going to react to Jess. Okay. okay also, do so I have to note, say a single word? Can... Sorry. Yes. The first word that comes to your mind based on the prompt that was given to you. Okay. okay. Could it be like a uh, sentence? So or it's, it's, be a word. Word. It's typically a word, but if you can make like a, a quick phrase. It's like a therapy it's okay. session, except, yeah. no, no, there's no <laughs> professionals here. <laughs> let's yeah, go. let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. Okay, All right. We'll do a little warm up. We'll do a little warm up. Um, Dina, you get the first word. Poltergeist. Ghost. Throwing up violently. Bucket. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. So Daniel's thinking of the the Exorcist. Oh fuck! Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. So wait, isn't he supposed to go based on my word though, not yours? Yes. So he was reacting. Yeah, right. So he always same. does that though. Yeah, I'm really bad at this. He always he always <laughs> reacts to the original word and not the word that he's given. So that's why we do a warm up. <laughs> Jesus. I've been ready for these, Dina. <laughs> By the way, nice background, Daniel. Yeah, I don't know how to do backgrounds, so maybe we can add it in post. Then I have a background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jess came super prepared. To yes. I know. But, like, I actually like your five minutes so much notice. It's super, super freaking clever, and I love it. And I'm going to steal it is, that I like it. when I come up with it. Okay, <laughs> Daniel. Yeah. You get the first word this time. All right, here we go. Chainsaw. Massacre. Oh, it's me. It's um, yes. blood. Uh, period. Dina. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Vegans. Hey, you guys actually did that one right this time. Hey, we did it. We're, We're getting learning. into it. We're getting into it. Okay, Jess, you get the first word. Dina, you're going to react to it, okay? Oh, vegans. Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're with me on that oh one. My God. Shout out, Aubrey. Sponge. I'm kidding. It's <laughs> demon. The word is demon. Spawn. Satan. Sean. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing. I had nothing. My people don't believe in Satan. I don't know what you want from me. Come on, <sighs> you can't like. So, you you don't know anything about like the fictional horror movie Satan. You have to go to the religious version. Oh, I could have gone South Park Satan. My first thought was like, lettuce, like Satan's lettuce. Oh, that would be a devil. Oh, that Satan's kale. That's good too. Oh, I could have done Saddam Hussein. Yeah. All right, Dina. The next word is evil. Uh, Mary. My wife. Love. <laughs> what? What did you do, Mary? Did you say Mary? Like yeah. I thought you said Mary. Mary or Mary, yeah, like, like getting like married. Virgin Mary. Like, uh, I thought you said no. married. I thought you said no, married. Mary. Oh, like yeah. a person. And I was like, that's kind of oh, weird that I thought of. Them. Lord. All right. All right. Has a little lamb. We're doing very well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to go back and fix it now. Yeah. This is the glory of the game. I thought we, we were. I thought no, you said married. There's no retroactive answers. We're, we're going with what we got. Oh, damn it, Daniel. All right. I'm ready. The next word is knife. Dina. Chop. <laughs> Liver. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Where how do we get to here? I don't yeah, know. I like that. Okay. See, that's that's what's great about this game oh. is that perfectly works. Yeah, but it it's does. nothing like where we started. Yeah. But I mean for the record, I was thinking about Dina stabbing things with her knife and you know. That's fair. That's fair. It was I mean too. I specifically chose knife with Dina in mind, so Okay. Um Jess is next, I believe. Jess? The next word is cemetery. Um, dirt. Fight. MMA? Dirt fight? I mean, 
Yeah, I don't know where I, fight came from, but like, I, it's a reach. I mean, okay, so okay, you, know, but you get like dirty when you fight. Like is a dirt fight like a Florida thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. Is that is yeah. that like a honestly? Pushing? Yeah. No, I was still thinking of of cemetery, and the time that I got into fist fight at a funeral, and I was wait, like, wait, oh, there's what? dirt in that too. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Save it That's amazing. Okay, I'm, I'm save it for the podcast. Jesus. I have to wait till a couple of people die first, and I can. <sighs> Of course, course you got in a fight at a, of course you got in a fight at a funeral. Of course. Of course. The names have been changed in this dramatization. <laughs> That's what we'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we just did cemetery. Dina, the next word is spell. Magic. Uh, nothing special. Dina. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> that means it sounds like I'm it's calling Dina circle, something baby. nothing special, but that's not what I mean at all. <laughs> it's her yeah. book. You I know it's your book. That's why I said it. Yeah, I'm telling no. the people listening because um, they might think that was yeah, insulting. It's, it's that's the title of Dina's book, everybody. Dina's okay. very special. Very special. <laughs> very, very, very special. Very, very special. Okay. Very special. Yes. Daniel, the next word is... Morbid. Uh, my fascination with knees. Elbows. <laughs> Shoulders. Knees and knees toes. Knees and toes. Knees and toes. Don't judge me feet. for my king. Yeah. I think that it doesn't matter Damn what it, word Jess. I was gonna say. Sorry. It's a buzz. Uh, sorry. Damn it. Honestly, I just want to get I said rid of toes, gear. okay? The toes is okay. No, that's not a buzzword. It's a... Okay. So, going back to that word, morbid, I, I feel like it doesn't matter what word I said in that round. Daniel was going to say knees. Yeah. Or elbows or whatever you said. I, my first yeah. thought was obese. So. I, it was mine. It was mine. Yeah, yeah, it, it was, was mine. too. I was like morbidly obese. I don't yeah. like. Like, no, legitimately, that was my first one too, but I felt like there was no way, like, fun way to come down from morbidly you're obese. You're not supposed like, to be trying to. You're that's not, not your first thought. To manipulate the game. Yeah, fair. God. It was everyone's It's, it's supposed thought. to be your gut reaction. You're not even supposed fair to enough. think about it. You're supposed to just spew Get out the first reaction. thought in your mind. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at word okay. association. It's too much this pressure. This hat's really fucking difficult to. <laughs> okay, Jess. The next word is vampire. Suck. Oh. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Happy ending. Oh. I okay. The best part. <laughs> of that whole exchange was Jess's sudden realization of what word she just said. It's not the first word. Oh, that was fantastic. Shit. No, that's how you play the game. Okay. Oh, that was that was beautiful. That was, that was good. That was, that was good. That was like, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Successfully we'll do failed. One more round for each of you. Yeah. Let's do this. I think I have enough. Yeah, I do have enough for one more each. Dina, your word is werewolf. <gasps> Uh, Jacob. Uh, <laughs> Team Edward. Um, furries? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's no. fantastic. <laughs> no. Jess, have you ever had experience with furries before? Like, no. is that like a, uh, a Do you get any experience? furry stories? They yeah. don't. <laughs> they don't. I don't know why they came to my brain. I bet Dina does, though. And, and listen, sure. for the folks at home, uh, if you want to <laughs> pay... <laughs> oh, no, she doesn't. Damn it. I was going to say... <laughs> for for the it. folks at home, if you want Jess to write a furry erotica for you, she'll do it. I might, yeah. For, for the, the right, right price. price. For the right I price, mean. yes. I was that, channeling that producer Sean still, sorry. Yeah, like one to five I like your dollars. deadpan, by the way. Yeah. Five yeah, dollars. It's quite good. <laughs> do I really sound that boring, though? <laughs> no. No. If I had given you more, <laughs> I was going to lose it. So I had to just be like this the whole time. Otherwise, I was just going to start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I liked it. I liked In my it. perspective, this feels like a fever dream. <laughs> yeah. 
That's incredible. We're, we're on shrooms right now. That's that's what's uh, going down at this point. There is. I don't so know gross. how you. I don't know how you. Oh, you're drinking it. hair. Like, there's so much hair in it. Like I put it on and I'm immediately sweating. Yeah, yep. I sweat all the time. That's why I tell you guys after at the end of every episode, I'm like, I gotta go shower because I'm sweating because my hair yep. is fucking a nightmare. And the Florida humidity. Also, my bald awful. cap is missing and I don't know where it is in here. <laughs> Dude, well, we can't see your hair. Yeah, so you're yeah, good. No, it's, it's I know, but solid. I still put on the bald cap for some reason, and now it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your hair ate it. No, it got absorbed into the the abyss of your hair. Yeah. Okay, two more. All right, here we go. Um, it's my turn. I believe. Who did I give werewolf to? That was to Dina, so it's me. Okay. Daniel, your word is wizard. Harry Dresden. I gave you the low hanging fruit of this game and you go to freaking Dresden Files. <laughs> Alright, oh. fine, fine. Dumbledore. Oh my god. Um, old. Uh, uh, uh the McGonagall. <laughs> McGonagall. McGon- <laughs> <laughs> you know that, actually, yeah. Full circle, that one's that, that goes back to when I couldn't remember the cousin McGonagall's name. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't James remember his name just then, too. He was in the chat going, McGonagall. And I was like, McGonagall, I just remembered it, everybody. Yeah. yeah. I told you about yeah. what it yeah. actually it was. was. I was just like, oh, who's that old wizard lady? Harry Potter? <laughs> I don't remember. Listen, she's a straight fox. Okay, fox. round us out here, Jess. You got the last word. Ready? Okay, give me a good one. Jess, your word is zombie. Plants. Uh, uh, carnivore. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Who said... Okay, you said zombies. Who said... Oh, she said plants. I said zombie is the prompt for Jess. She said plants. You said, said carnivore, and you ruined it by not saying a word. <laughs> Eating out. What? That's what... <laughs> I don't have a drink. <laughs> I don't have a drink. I have to go get a drink. <laughs> okay. And Threw that was the association that game. Threw up the law. I'm so glad. I was worried my log would look like a turd. Over the top of that. No, it's a beautiful log. It, well, if it, I did a I'm poop, tr- it would technically also be a log. So I thought I was like, that's, that's yeah, true. It could go in a lot of directions. I mean, there's no it could work. In a log yeah, no direction. downside here. All right, guys, it is time for Dina's favorite segment. We're going to be discussing horror tropes. The good ones, the bad ones, everything in between in this spooky, spooky episode. Sean, what do you got for us, man? So I'm going to start with one that uh, <clears throat> a few people mentioned, actually. And it's it's listed as a least favorite trope by a number of people. Because I did ask Twitter, what are your least favorite and most favorite horror, scary, spooky tropes in writing or movies or whatever? Yeah. And uh, this one came up a couple times. If you have sex, you die. Is that true? Yeah. You, you are I mean, to be fair, everyone I know that has sex dies eventually. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a very fair point. That's a very, that's yeah, very, that's a good, very good, good point. As the show's resident virgin, I <laughs> hey, me too. With this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah, a lot of a lot of virgins here. <laughs> Sorry, I choked. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so she said. But here's the thing, I could believe it for Dina because it's just like unless she's in like a sterile, like clean white room, like you know, like the like the medically sterilized room, I'm just not sure she could get in the mood, you know? Mm-hmm. It's true. I haven't changed my sheets in four days. <gasps> if there are any screens in the room, <laughs> oh, if there are any screens in the room, burn, instant burn turn off. Down. But yeah, I mean, like mm-hmm. listen, it's it's a pretty classic trope. Like, you know, if anyone, especially if it's like the the teenagers at the party, if they're going oh, off in the into car? the woods, yeah, car. Yeah. Oh in yeah, the car, in the wo- okay, or, yeah, that is. Or, or like in, in like the bunk in yes, the cabin. always in the woods. In like yep. the um, what's it? Hot springs. I feel like I just wanted to go in the hot springs. And just die. It, I think like I'm my sure favorite it part about why that, did that Twilight theme song just come into my head? Go ahead. <laughs> like I think my She's favorite part about this Twilight is that there's always like a, a mistaken identity. Like it's like. Oh, baby, you're getting kinky here. And, like, he thinks, like, she's doing something weird, but then it's actually, actually like, the killer put his hand on the shoulder. Like, Listen, I yeah. have, okay, because of that, I have always been paranoid. Like, if I get up in the middle of the night to go pee and I get back in bed, I'm like, is that actually my husband? But, yes, I would fucking know that that's my husband, you know? 
Who wouldn't know? <laughs> that's, that's the dumbest fucking trope. Someone but swapped them out me. while you were peeing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like supernatural shit. You're just yeah, exactly. Like you're going like it just comes up behind you. You're like, oh Tim, why why are you up, T- Tim? Oh God, why do you have scales. <gasps> <laughs> See, like, how do they how do they mistake that is your person i don't know how you can mistake their identity that blows my mind I, but i agree though i don't, I don't usually like they're not like not my thing. usually though in that case like what daniel was saying it's like they're they're usually younger they probably haven't been together that long yeah, like it's like a hookup like yeah. high school or college mm-hmm. age they're not like a married couple that sleeps together in yeah. the same bed every night you yeah. know what i mean yeah. so i can see but then they're, oh, the, the trope seems to be like like trying to push a certain message. It's like, oh, well, if you're a person yes. that does this bad thing, bad, quote unquote. Yeah, um, shouldn't, shouldn't. Oh, um, then yeah. you're shouldn't punished and you die. So people who have sex <clears throat> and they're not married die. <laughs> I was hoping you would bring that up um, because I feel like that was 100% the agenda. Like in the 70s and 80s uh, when all those like yeah. campy horror movies first started getting super popular mm-hmm. and... Like literally, <clears throat> if the <clears throat> youngsters get down mm-hmm. and they're premarital, yeah, they uh, they die yeah. shortly after. Mm-hmm. I'll say for the drug users and drinkers, if you're that. doing anything that is not <laughs> wholesome as hell, like Dina would survive, but like I I, I die immediately in a horror. Like, Fuck situation. you, Landmark. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be the first to die in a horror movie. Like no. Yeah. So I don't know if I would be the first to die or not. Here's the thing. They love saving the girls. I'd be the killer. It's, it's always the guys that die, <laughs> and it's the girl that's the hero that survives at the end. Like I feel like it's often like the annoying girl that's always screaming that they risk their lives to save <laughs> all the and time. She, she lives like till the life end. Lesson. Yeah. yeah. She le- but she learned a life lesson and now she's gonna like change be forever <laughs> changed because of it. And she's gonna be kind to the girl that she bullied in school the other day now. <laughs> she'll right? limp off into the sunset, you know? Yeah. She's yeah. also gonna be guard- guarded and on the defense <laughs> emotionally. Yeah. And also hardened by it. Like now she's but a complete badass. That's until she sees the next cute guy and then like the music's gonna change. <laughs> and then she's gonna be like, maybe. Yeah, maybe there's a chance. Like but, they're gonna give her hope. But but like here's the thing too, and, and and I will I will take this a step further. The person who survives is never the one who is like most fit or most capable. Like like you know in the zombie movies, it's like the dude that survives yeah. is like hardcore marine guy that like has been you know prepping forever. But like in a horror movie, like you know like a straight like slasher movie, it's like oh yeah, I don't do track. I don't I don't do sports. I'm kind of a dork. And I'm going to be the weakest one here, but I am the one living. <laughs> so does that mean that I would survive? I don't know. You said you played some sports, though. You would 100% uh, I did kill do, I did the do serial soccer. killer. You're, yeah, you're, you're an archer. Yeah, see? You okay, so Jess skills. is going to survive, and I'm going to be, like, second to last. I'm the reason she survives, right? <laughs> exactly. You're the one I think, who has yeah, a you, you probably, like, I sacrificed myself. The killer. Yeah. 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 Don't you okay, dare yeah, do that yeah, to me. Like... <laughs> <laughs> I can't live with that. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Dina's last words to Jess. Don't unalive yourself for me. I can't deal with that. <laughs> I, I, like, I, unalive I just, yourself. That is pretty good, too. But I could just see, like, Dina just whispering cancel your Jess, life like... description in front of me. You have to ask <laughs> It's what can you see me doing, Daniel? Uh, just, you know, like, <laughs> Jess, come here. Final words. Enjoy the survivor guilt, bitch. <sighs> <laughs> she'll be like, Jess, come. And I'll be like, what? And she'll be like, that's what she said. And then she'll die. <laughs> Fuck, that's even better. Why are you so freaking clever, Jess? <laughs> I hate that she's so clever because I, I can't not. keep up. I know. It's so not. I'm not. <laughs> you shut up with prologue. I could barely keep my shit together pretending to be Sean. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, I actually laugh sometimes. It's okay to laugh. I know. I practiced your laugh in the beginning. I don't think we were recording it. It was just me and Daniel. Yeah, she was practicing, practicing it. it. Yeah. Yeah, she, when, I was, when I was in the bathroom? Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. She was practicing that in like some of your isms. She She had the Oh, Lord. Down pretty well, too. Wait, wait. Okay, ready? Oh, Lord. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty good. I've seen myself do it on camera many times. Oh, have you seen oh, yourself you have to do edit it on yourself. camera? That's have you now? 
Hi, hold, mm-hmm. hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what she said. You have to edit yourself? Right no, no. To the, oh. I've seen myself do it on camera. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's the other horror trope? Um, <clears throat> Anthony LeFout, LeFout, LeFout. Oh, you're already back you're in character. I haven't heard of him. <laughs> Anthony LeFouci from We Have Issues gave us one that I thought was really good. Okay. All right. He I'm said, ready. I hate when normally reasonable characters experience something supernatural or otherworldly and nobody believes them. If one of my friends yes. soberly told me there was a vampire, I would freaking listen. <clears throat> I mean... Oh, How close are me and this friend? <laughs> that matters. Uh, yeah, it does. Because I have I friends. Know. That would I would say, say like, something to me, and I would be like, "No, you're full of shit." I would say like inner circle friend. Like this what? is someone you trust. Um. Yeah, I'd probably. Well, I don't trust anybody. <laughs> <laughs> to be if fair, I, I would ha- probably be like, maybe you should see a therapist. I'm very worried. About so yeah, I would be I mean, one of those. I, I feel like I would be skeptical, but I would be open minded enough to be like, "Yeah, buddy, yeah, a vampire. Why don't you show me this vampire? Come on, man, let's, let's take a look." Yeah, maybe I'd ask for proof. I think. Me. Yeah, I think I was being pranked because I feel like everybody's always pranking me. Because as we've discussed before, I look for way too many meanings in things. Mm-hmm. So I would, yeah. But I mean, if Tim came to me and he like, if okay, so here's the thing. In our marriage, we pinky promise on our wedding day. So, like, that's our thing. I know that you're not lying and you're being serious if you pinky promise. Yeah. So, anytime so I need so to know cute. if he's kidding, shut the fuck up. It's a little super cute. Yeah, um, so anytime cool. I need to know if he's being serious, I'll ask him for a pinky promise. So, if Tim comes to me and he does a pinky promise and he says, I just saw a werewolf, I would 100% believe him. Because, I mean, like, that's our marriage. That's that's fair. I mean, here's the I thing. Like, like I was trying to think if like it was Sean, because Sean doesn't like have flights of whimsy like I do. So I feel like if Sean said he saw a vampire, I'd at least trust him enough to to want to see some proof. But I feel but like he's also a reverse, troll. Be like, <sighs> he would troll yeah, you. Yeah, but I don't think he would troll about that. Would would you? I don't think that I could convince Daniel that Wait. a vampire existed unless I believed it too. Yeah, like. Maybe. Yeah, he's got to have the belief. Now, I- I'll give you, I'll give you one that always drives me crazy, and you see it a lot in vampire, in like zombie movies, because this is going off what Anthony was saying, which is that like no one knows what a zombie is before the zombie movie starts. Like, do they not live in society? Like, like zombie movies have been part of our culture for ever. But anytime it comes, it's like, what's going on? That undead person is walking. I, I don't understand. And it's like. It's trying to bite me. What's happening? Yeah, and it's just like, well, no, we, we we know that. I feel like when somebody tries to bite you, you fucking know that it's a problem. Uh, do zombie movies actually? I don't watch zombies. Unless it's movies. like in a yeah, No one shoot. knows what a zombie like... is. Yeah, no, no one knows what a zombie is in a zombie movie. Oh, that's stupid of them. <laughs> Except for that, like one crazy guy in town who was always preparing the prepper. for oh, some type of event. Yeah. They're and then coming. finally it happens, and then he comes out with all the ammo and the guns, and he's, like, got the machete, and he's like, I'm ready for this. Yeah. And he's, like, telling p- other people how to deal with the pro- Yeah, that guy. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I think when, in my perspective, when I think of it as, like, a, almost like world building, like a different world, a world similar to ours, but zombies aren't a thing. Like, people don't talk about zombies. So yeah. then and, that's and, why they've never talked about it is because it's like a different ugh. world than ours. Um, yeah, and, and, and like I get it, I but guess, like yeah. but I also feel like like again, just to keep on jumping places, like that's always the excuse for like why the government is keeping aliens from us because we couldn't handle the truth. It's like, dude, we've been watching movies about aliens in space for like a hundred years. Like if if the government came out tomorrow and been like, Yeah, dude, there's aliens, they've they've been chilling here, and no one's gonna be like panicking. They're gonna be like, Oh, so is this gonna be like the fifth element kind of aliens or is this going to be third encounters of you know aliens like like Mo- I monsters feel like versus we're aliens is the only context i have here oh my God. <laughs> well the government did kind of do that recently didn't they declassify a bunch of ufo videos like a year ago or something like that yeah, but those are just and like, like unidentified like, flying objects not aliens as in like these are all things that we don't know what they uh, are 
but not aliens remains to be seen. They never said they were aliens. They're just saying we don't know what the hell this was. And there's video. I feel like we're going down a conspiracy hole right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't oh, know what's happening anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't Flatter know it. either. Flatter we can talk about 9 We're barking up the wrong tree. Conspiracy theory. We're barking up the wrong tree. We're barking up the wrong log. Barking up the wrong log. Oh, God. I have so many oh, log puns God. just, like, sitting in my head now. <sighs> All I've got is how logged. hard are you right now? How hard am I? Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Would, wouldn't you like to know? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Turn it around. Uno reverse. Oh, you had that locked and loaded. I didn't didn't actually, I actually did a, think about that one. Just do you now. have a bunch of tree puns written down in front of you? I don't. I thought of that Ready one in my, in my, like, the, the squishy <laughs> meat in did. my brain. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. What's I'm our next of, trope? I'm out of alcohol again. Yeah. Oh, my God. We are okay. again. Um, Let's see. Oh, of course. The classic. The bimbo type woman who gets beaten to death or trips over everything. And not just because their boobs are big and they're blonde, but because it's just really? a bad stereotype of a hot woman. Yeah. What? It sounds like, yeah. Just to be clear, there's it? nothing. There's always like, basically like the pretty in, in stupid every, blonde gets ruined. Yeah, everything. Like the stupid blonde she gets, up. I mean, Drew Barrymore died two minutes into Scream. And she did the whole running around, tripping over things, right, right. and letting Which the killer killer. Who knows that if you're the girl with the hair? Rich? No, that's the ring. <laughs> Scream oh. is the one with the ghost face guy with long mouth and the knife. Oh, and like the, okay, okay. Nah, yeah. all right. Got yeah, it. Gotcha. I mean, no, they, they definitely <laughs> always make sure to kill off an attractive character, whether it's male or female. Like, if someone is overly attractive, they get off every single time. Why even bring them on the show? To get off. To kill them. Like, like I think Wait, are, are we supposed... That's what she said, Daniel. Oh. <laughs> so, obviously, they, they have hot people in the movie or whatever because they're attractive and people <clears throat> like to look at hot people. Mm -hmm. so. Are we talking but about I movie trips or books? Hot? Both. I mean... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm just making can, sure. I'm, I have more experience with movies, so I'm going to lean in that direction. Um, I know but, none yeah. of the above, and I'm just talking out of my ass. Yeah, me too. That's great. That's what people are here for, right? Like, scream uneducated opinions? And scream? Yeah, I think so. I hope so, <laughs> That's yeah. what the segment's called. Uneducated amateur opinions. Amateur authors yeah. and amateur humans. <laughs> That's true. Um, in Scream, do they actually scream? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a number of screams in that movie. Ah, yes. Okay. All right, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, um, I have a theory. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> the pee out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> shit! Okay. You have a theory, Jess? <laughs> oh yeah, maybe everyone who who wrote those horror movies were like bullied by like the hot popular girl, or were rejected by the hot popular girl, oh. and they want they have like sort of like well, obviously it's because she's stupid. Um, she didn't want me, the pinnacle of all of the hottest men in the world, you know? And then so, then they write the horror movie, and then the horror movie, you know? And then so then they killed the hot girl because the hot girl didn't want him. And obviously yeah, it's because yeah. she's so stupid is... and fucks everything up. This is my theory. Like so it. this is their way of preventing themselves from becoming a serial killer? Yeah. Yes, they it's they just like, I could murder out. her, or I could just like... They're living vicariously Pretend through their work to murder her yeah in my brain in a way that everyone yeah I've been there in my brain <laughs> all right let's do one more all right okay and by the way i i am they, these are a lot of movie references because that's where all the responses kind of leaned even though i asked for yeah that's fine we're storytelling right, actually, movies are a way of storytelling books, um, but yeah. i just said tropes yeah. um which are generally literary things anyways <clears throat> Um, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, here's one. Friend of the show, Alex James, not Andrew. Daniel. I would never. Hey, babe. I would never. Drunk Scribe. At Drunk Scribe on Twitter, Alex James says, horror situations that could easily and realistically be solved by literally anyone picking up the phone. Call the cops. Call the fire department. Literally call everyone, you absolute dingus. <laughs> Are we talking about modern or old timey? Because you could just cut the phone line. Mm. Um, and these days I like to believe that they have EMP waves. Mm. Yeah. Old timey hurts my feelings because, um, 
phone lines were a thing. I guys. grew up with a landline. I didn't have a landline. I the only time in my I oh the my first God. time in my life without a landline was when I bought this house three years ago. Yeah. So, I mean, I haven't had a landline in like nine years, but I grew up way longer than that. I definitely have. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, like, I, I, mean, agree. I have the, like, I have the plugs also. for it. Like, the house the is wired for it, but... Yeah. I mean, like, like I look at it this way. I think that's, like, the biggest issue with, like, modern horror is they have to figure out ways that... To, to negate technology, because there is such... Uh, so many ways to communicate and stuff that it's, like, almost like it's surreal. So what you get is either the... I don't have reception. I don't understand why I don't have reception. Or else you get the, yeah. okay, the one bored cop that comes out and they're like, okay. He's the the person who singularly by himself slowly drives by, doesn't see a problem, and then leaves. And then the next time they call back, they're like, <clears throat> "Please quit pranking us. We know it's Halloween." <laughs> I mean, Hocus Pocus did that. Hocus Pocus is they they went to the I haven't police. Seen it. Don't don't say spoilers. I'm watching it with Amber on set on <gasps> Sunday. Don't say spoilers. You've never seen You've Hocus never Pocus. Can I join you? I want to watch it. Yeah, you oh can. Not. Watch party. <sighs> Actually, yeah. Maybe. Just let me have fun. Daniel and I will be watching football. You. Um. So, in regards to the police thing, though, like that's a legit thing. So, it happened a lot in my hometown. Yeah, People, sure they would drive by happened. and be like, "There's no problem," and I would be like, "No, there's literally somebody in the dumpster outside right now. Mm-hmm. We didn't see him." Yeah. So, I mean that that happens, <clears throat> but the phone line thing, yeah. Just pick up your goddamn cell phone. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the story yeah, but- needs to address why the phone isn't working. Or else it's just like, why well, hold you on here, this? because as somebody that likes adventure, I will purposefully leave my phone in another room when I hear something because oh, I want to see what's going to happen. Yeah, so maybe don't... they're like me and they're just sick and they're just like waiting for something to happen. Yeah. I mean, I can see that being like, all right, honey, we're going to have a no phone weekend. All right, guys, everyone drop your phone in the uh, bowl and we're all just going to go to this remote location. I've done that. Yeah. yeah. See? And then everyone dies. because of that Yeah. Everyone dies because of no phone. <laughs> By the way, on a completely unrelated side note, I, I really want to set up, like, an episode where we get Alex and Jess together with us. Because I just feel like having be this much chaos would be an incredible moment. That would be really fun. I don't think I could keep up with Alex. But... He's, he's on know. speed, I swear. <laughs> yeah. He's doing the crack coke. Yeah, he's a... Uh... <clears throat> Big brain. He's, he's quick, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, next All one. Right. Go. That's it. All right. Oh. So then that's it for the discussion. Yeah. All right, then that means. Oh, we got to put back on. Uh oh. Here we go. Why are you using my Tom music? Your Tom music. Tom music. What? Oh, Tom music. <laughs> it's story time with dinosaurs. Okay, so we're going back. When I was. <laughs> Wait, is this Dina? Okay, I got it. Yeah. So we're going back when I was. Uh, I don't remember how old I was. Um, but my childhood best friend was over and she was spending the night and we're outside. And I have this creepy old swing set in our backyard. And. We're talking like rusted chains and two swings and this little slide or whatever. And then we had like the shed across the yard, like, you know, near the tank. And and it was a pretty big yard. And my friend disappears. And it's super dark outside. And like, I was still young enough to be scared of the dark. And now she's older than me and we're in the same grade. But she, no, I think she was actually two grades above me. But she's like significantly older than me because I was just not at the same level as my peers. And I'm still scared of the dark. And she disappears when, you know, we're on the swing set talking. And then all of a sudden, she disappears without me knowing. And and we're and it's pitch black out. And I just, I can only see the silhouette of the shed. And I hear these Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Did, did she just, like, disappear while you were talking? Yeah, like, vanished in, in thin air. Could have been magic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, you know... We're talking, and, and and I can see just like a little bit of the silhouette of the shed, and I hear these horrible noises coming from behind the shed. And- <laughs> oh my God! Hold on, 
pause real quick. Uh, Miriam, can you hand me dog, please? Sadie. <laughs> And and I look over and she's making like howling noises. And then I see her step out from behind the shed, and I'm freaking out because it's dark and I'm small and and I'm scared. And and like somehow she can like somebody she's like somehow towards her body. She pulls herself, but then makes it look like she's being pulled backwards with her hand behind her back, falls behind the shed, and makes them like makes like more screaming noises. And then she does the snout of a werewolf, and I'm sitting on the swings, petrified, shaking, and crying, trying to muster up the courage to go save my friend. Uh, oh my god! And, and, and I have no idea. God only knows where, like, my mom and dad are, where anyone is, and I'm completely alone, and I'm freaking out. I start crying. And so your parents this- are just gone? Yeah. Highly irresponsible. It's Florida. There, there's no one supervises their children in Florida. Okay. Why didn't you call anybody? <laughs> <laughs> and like Alex said, <laughs> the phone. <laughs> yeah, we only had a landline. So I don't even know where my brothers were. Probably out, I, I, I don't know, like partying. It was such a mess. And I'm like completely little freaky out. And then I start crying. And then all of a sudden she comes out on all fours acting like a werewolf from behind the shed oh and my is God. still making werewolf noises and I'm ready to shit oh myself. My God. Yeah, I'm ready to sh- I'm ready to shit myself. And she charges at me and I still can't see and I kicked her in the face <laughs> and gave her a bloody oh. nose. Jesus. And she had that coming. Yeah, and, and I didn't realize it was her until it was too late. The shadows look so real and there's still like a part of me that wonders if maybe she actually is a werewolf and was transforming and was just trying to trick me. So uh, jokes on her because uh, yeah. she has to conceal her identity still. She's a psychopath. And now she's on some type of list. Yeah, sure. yeah. Uh, just like all of my enemies, they learn a valuable lesson that to frighten me is to be kicked, punched, or stabbed. That gets fair. Remind me never to get on your bed, baby. Uh, 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 and this is why no one would me dare. and producer Sean are deathly afraid. Deathly. Of I've seen her knife collection. <laughs> I haven't. Mm. You don't want to see it. <laughs> if you've seen yeah, it, it's already too late. It. So, Dina, um, really quick, we did have a poll two weeks ago, but that ended up being my surprise birthday party. And we didn't hear the story of how you drugged the groom at your friend's wedding. Should we just do a double double header story time? Yes. Okay, but real Dina, yeah, real, tell this real story. Dina. I, mean, I, I okay, definitely want to hear. I'm how very this confused story. when you guys Dina? aren't you. So yeah, let's go ahead and do the <clears throat> double header story time. We'll do that time. Dina Daniel's drugs frozen the groom. Oh, oh, no, I'm not. I'm right here. Yeah. At, no, he's, no, he's still here. Yeah. Never mind. He was just sitting very still. Very still. Serial killer. Still. Oh my god. It's story time with Dinosaurus. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going back, but not that far back. So it's just like a... Because... Because uh, my friends got married, well... I think four years ago, because they got married like a year after us. Anyway, um, they... We have, like, this friend group. It's my husband's best friend since they were, like, three years old. They're basically brothers. He got married. But we are all in this big... Yes, essentially. Uh, Yeah, very much. Um, And one of them got married, our little resident ginger. And we have other friends that are, like, Marines. And they have access to a lot of the... Uh, co- what is it? Contraband? Con- contraband? That? contraband? Contraband. That word. Contraband. They have access to a little contraband. That makes me comfortable. And yeah, I'm going there in the apocalypse. So 
they got together and they all decided that for our buddy's wedding, we were going to go get him a drink and we were going to drug him. Like, I don't know the exact dosage, but it was like four or five Viagra. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I had, I had, I was like, they were all talking about it or whatever, and they were like, "Who could I brought?" And I was like, "Oh, my God, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna go the other direction." And <clears throat> next thing I know, they're all, they're like went off. All the guys went together. It's after the wedding. Everybody's dancing, having a good time. They gave him his beer. Apparently, I was drunk out of my mind, so I didn't know like I didn't know to follow. But anyway. Um, Yeah, the next thing I know, I'm, like, walking into the house from the dance floor, and I pass the groom, and he's in a complete panic. Like, I've never seen—he's military, too. I've never seen this boy panic. So he was at attention? No, not yet, (laughs) but they told him after he chugged the beer what they did. So I'm walking, I'm like walking, he's walking, no, I'm walking out of the house, he's walking into the house, and I'm like, oh my god, are you okay? Like, I grab him and I stop him, like, are you okay? Because he's just, he's like so pale, he's in a complete panic, he looks like he's about to like shit his pants. I'm like, are you okay? And he's like, they, they, I I gotta get inside, they, they put it in my beer, and I was like, what, oh, (laughs) yeah, they did, and he was like, wait, is it, is it not a joke? And I was like, no, it's not a joke, they actually did that, and he was like, do you know how to make me throw up? (laughs) I was like, no, I, I can't help you throw up, and he was like, snort some cookie, (laughs) frankly, that's sexist, sir, snort some pepper, (laughs) I didn't think about that. But yeah, he was just like, help me throw up. And I was like, I can't, I don't know. I'll be right back. <laughs> I ran over to a group of people and I was like, have you ever had to make yourself throw up? They were like, N- no, why would we, why would we do that? And I was like, I don't know. So I ran back into the house and I was like, wait, give me a name. Give me a name. Uh, Yosepini. Oh. Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy, <laughs> put your finger down your fucking throat, <laughs> get it out. <laughs> and he's sitting there dry heaving, trying to get himself to throw up. I finally give up because I can't handle the noise because yeah, I'm drunk too, so I might throw up. I give up and I text his new wife the next day and she's like, I don't want to talk about it. And I was like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he wasn't. I asked him a couple years later, and he was like, I couldn't throw up. And I was like, that's the only thing that I've gotten from him since then, is that I couldn't throw up. Oh, no. And she just goes, I don't want to talk about it. Do you know how <laughs> hard so that would have been for a drunk dude to pee that entire night like that? So. That's horrible. People say he's still hard to this day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, the no. rest of the night, like, when he, he, like, went back to the dance floor or whatever, but he only sat down. So he only sat down. And he <clears throat> would not dance. He would not get up when everybody left. That's when he left. Oh my God, that dangerous, yeah. too? Like, the isn't that, like, very high very dangerous. dangerous. Very dangerous. Them, like, very dangerous. That sounds very... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's not it's very, good. It's oh. very not okay. Oh, no. Okay, we don't... So let's let's just funny. say Yikes. he had very little... He had very little blood in his brain. Yeah. And it was elsewhere. He didn't have another drink the rest of that night. <laughs> Not to mention that it was like contraband. Wait, why would it be contraband? Because it's a prescription. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not illegal, but mm, it's kind if of. It's not prescribed to you. Then yeah, there's a gray area there, right? Yeah. And like, if you don't need it, and you you got it. I mean, man, mm-hmm. like, like, like for for people for women who don't understand beyond just all the other issues with having an erection at the most inappropriate time um peeing with an erection is impossible it's 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 like fighting not if you can do a uh, handstand <laughs> fair point fair point you do have to do some acrobatic stances yeah. did you do like superman but like across the toilet <laughs> Yeah, what, what movie just is plank. that? That was yeah, just plank on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, he was playing across. Oh god, what movie was that? Do you think we could ask Matt to do that? Yeah. See oh my god, it stop it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Why do you guys make him do control. things in the bathroom? That's so weird. 
That's so He's weird. Pig. Oh god. Hey, He's we're gonna give you Viagra. Asked, that poor then... man. That poor man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dina. Huh? Are you ready? Tell us what the choices are for the next edition of Story Time with Dinosaurus. Next time, <clears throat> you guys can choose from. The time that I was locked in a tattoo convention, which I actually live tweeted that one too, so. Mm -hmm. The dead guy in the drive through parking lot at Wendy's. It was a heavy day. It was a heavy, heavy day. (laughs) (laughs) Or we can do the fist fight at the appliance center that I worked at. How many fist fights do you get in, Dina? Um, in my younger days, I got into a lot of fist fights, actually. I've never even seen a fist fight. In I don't, all of the places. Oh, my God. I don't know how my hands still look good. Oh, my God. Can, all right. Before we get to the next segment, Jess, can I peer pressure you? Because I really, really would love it if you read this. Oh, God. I'll do you it. You don't have I'll to. Do I'll do it. You yes. don't have to. Oh, my God. She's doing it. Yes. Okay, but because you want to oh, and not you. because... Daniel is forcing you, yes. right? I'll do it. Yeah. Bless you for taking this from me. Is it? Um, yeah, that's what she here. said. How yeah, bad is fine. it? It's fine. Is it going to be sent to me? I have my phone. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah, I'm, I'm scared. For this. So, Jess, oh, we found man, a very special. Too. Uh, we found a is very special. Spooky? Yeah, Halloween version of cringy population. <laughs> Glad it's Wait, you. am I supposed to introduce it as you? Yeah. Should I do it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, wait. <clears throat> there a lot of bones. <clears throat> okay. All right, oh. you guys. Oh, is it not Sean that usually does that? Mm. No, usually Daniel gets overly excited about it to the point where it's kind of creepy and unsettling. <laughs> yes. Okay, I don't like, ever pay attention to it. Like the knees thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah, no. All right, you guys. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's that time for my favorite segment, your favorite segment. It is time for cringy copulation, and our friend Jess the Mess has decided to volunteer his tribute for this very special, erotic, Halloween-themed cringy copulation. Okay, Jess, right. check your DMs. Okay. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Oh, God. Do I use, um, do I say who it's by? The- yeah. I'll do the, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, do the thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From the ghost of East Hill Bridge by user Quiet Bedlam Twenty One. As it got, as I, oh god, as I got harder and bigger, Abby's mouth could take pull less back, and oh, less yeah, of yeah, me back, in. Pull back a little back. Yeah, back. I guess. <laughs> pull out. Pull out. Pull out. Too close. <laughs> like this. Yep. A little bit closer? That's a little bit closer. Just split the difference. Now. Yes. What about now? Yes. Yeah, right there. That's okay. Right there. Do I start it over? I'll do it over. From the Ghost of East Hill Bridge by user Quiet Bedlam 21. As I got harder and bigger, Abby's mouth could take less and less of me in. She kept sliding me in and out. In and out. <laughs> But at first she was sinking all the way down, then most of the way down, then only halfway. As I grew out her mouth, her hand slid up to replace it, pulling up when she drew me out and sliding down when she took me in. She was being gentle, caring almost, which was absolutely not what I expected out of a pity suck from Abby. (sighs) Oh God, I moaned. Abby made a happy humming noise around me and continued her slow, rhythmic slide. Up, down, up, down, up. Oh god, Abby, that feels so good. This is disgusting. She paused then. I hate this. <laughs> Sliding my dick between her lips, but giving it one last kiss as she went. Her hand kept stroking, though, slipping over from base to tip. It felt... Dumb. I'm not Abby. My eyes snapped open and I stared down at the woman who'd just been greasing my pole. Except it wasn't a woman. It was a ghost. It was the color that gave it away. Kind of hard to miss. She was pale. Very pale. And I'm not just talking about her skin. Her face, her hair, her clothes. Everything was washed out. White with just hints of other colors. 
She was also glowing, or something that looked like glowing, because she was easy to see even in the shadows. Except she didn't seem to illuminate er anything around her. I was face to face with Maria McConnell, the blowjob ghost of East Hill Road. And she was face to face <laughs> with the magic. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for that. With one budget. How did you feel about that? Um, it was extra sexy and extra spooky. What did you think? Why? Oh, she can't hear. Oh, uh, conveniently, Sean, she, she can't, can't hear. Yeah, again, this is her new thing. Yeah, Every week yeah. now, she's just oh, technical difficulties. Gonna have to I go back you, out Dina. and come back in again. I see you. How did you not yeah. notice? And like, aren't ghosts cold? And also, like, do ghosts? Can you feel a ghost? <laughs> Uh, like oh, you know when a ghost is passing questions. through you, it just feels like air. So is it just like- if it's breaking character, if it's the ghost from that one Christmas movie that Whoa! came out on Netflix, <laughs> the ghost of Blowjobs Past. Basically, it's like the steamy Hallmark movie. I mean, listen, if you want to see the true life documentary called McGruber, um, he definitely is able to <sighs> procreate with a ghost. Oh Jesus my Christ. god. You know what? Dan Aykroyd gets a blowy from a ghost in Ghostbusters. Oh, that, that does he happen. Does. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen it. So This is like a new definition of ghost. Dina. Dina. You haven't seen Ghostbusters? How have you not seen Ghostbusters? It's a classic, Do you even know Dina. who Dan Aykroyd is? I don't know. I probably saw it when I was no. young. I don't remember. Uncultured <laughs> youths. The audacity. It's probably too scary for her. Probably. <sighs> All right. All right, listen, you guys, we're about to get out of here. But just wanted to remind you, <laughs> if you want to have yourself featured on a future episode, you can leave us a voicemail at 347-69-WEIRD. That's 347-699-3473. Call now. <sighs> and, so. And Daniel, since you forgot and I have to go fix your mistakes all the time. Tell us about next week's guests. We have from the We Have Issues podcast, Anthony LaFusi and Stevie Wildcard. We have issues, ladies and gentlemen. So actually, if you actually looked at the rundown, Dina, you would see that that's the next thing on the rundown. Listen, and now you just got I, called out for calling me out, and I, finally, I don't look like an idiot. Okay, children. Thank you. Children. You still look like an idiot. Daniel, go ahead and plug our voicemail. <sighs> Start oh, again. Do it again. Back up. Do it again. Do it again. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll go back. <laughs> Give me that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> if you want to be featured on a future episode of Don't Make It Weird... You can call our voicemail line at 347-69-WEIRD. That's 347-699-3473. Call now. <sighs> so and now, Daniel, where can the folks find us? Hold on. Hold on. I'm producer Sean. Don't fucking argue with me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mr. Quigley, please this seize the floor. Mr. Mr. Quigley, seize your time. The- seize your time, Mr. Quigley. <laughs> time, Mr. Quigley. <laughs> oh my god. I can't take it. <laughs> Alright, Daniel, go ahead. Uh, this has been another episode of the Don't Make It Weird podcast. Daniel, where can the folks find you? You can find me on Twitter at Dan Q Writes Thing. That's Dan Q, not dance. Not dank. Dan Q. Dina? We talked about this, Dina. Dan Q writes thing. Don't bully me. It's dank. Dank. All right, Dina, where can the folks find you? You can find me at Dinosaurus D. That's Dinosaurus D. <laughs> Just the mess. Where can the people find you on Twitter? Well, if you log on to Twitter, you can find me at Jets LT. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we had to get one more log fun in there, folks. And producer Sean, where can the folks find you? You can find me in the kitchen about to go cook up some pesto chicken and fix all the dinners. Mm. And Shannon, pesto I hope chicken, you're that watching pretty good. A very spooky good morning to Shannon on this Halloween. Uh, one more thing. Next week's guests are the stars of the We Have Issue podcast, Anthony Lufusi and Stevie Wildcard, promoting their brand new semi-autobiographical time travel musical graphic novella called Play It Again. It's amazing. And we will see them next week. It's going to be incredible. You should buy the book in advance. It's only five bucks for the digital copy on Amazon. Check it out. And one more thing, everybody. We're going to get out of here. Jazz hands. The Don't Make It Weird Halloween Special. Hosted by Daniel Quigley and Dina Soros. Produced by me, Sean Holden. Theme song by Amaria. A very special thank you to our crazy uncle Jess the Mess. You can find her on Twitter at JessLTWrites. If you're listening to the audio version of this show, go check out the video version on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash don't make it weird podcast and subscribe. It's completely free and it helps us tremendously. To all you spooky folks who stay till the end week after week, just remember that we love you. You can't see right now, but Daniel is making a heart with his hands just for you. See you next week. <laughs>